what's up you guys it's your boy Seiko and uh today basically I'm just gonna do a little short story of what happened on uh, this past weekend and basically just wanna you know inform y'all you know basically the reason why I always be saying in the end of my videos be a dream chaser you know not always try to work for somebody and this and that so here we go well first let me see where I start off well it was Saturday night right and I think my last vlog I was talking to y'all about you know I might go out eat you know with Alex and you know a couple of my other friends so we went out you know and ate and whatnot and then later on that night we went we decided to go downtown you know just cruise so we went to Mexico you know we cruised or whatnot it was like one something in the morning we went down there for a cruise and there was a couple cars down there like at the uh, gas station down there Mexico gas station and um yeah, like, I was planning on going home at like, it was what, 102 already? I was planning on going home, you know, Derek was riding with me. And basically, it's like, I think it happened for a reason. So, basically what the story is about, like, you know, me and Alec and them went downtown, you know, hanged out with not the gas station, you know, checked on his car or whatnot, because his car was kind of acting funny. And, uh... Yeah, which it still is, so we're gonna figure the problem out probably tomorrow. And um yeah, but I was like, alright, you know, just you know, don't beat on it. Cause he has been beating on his car a lot lately. I'm like, you know, I haven't been beating on mine, which is weird. You know, I, which I've been saying I'm I'm not I'm gonna stop doing that because it's my daily. And which I like I ain't gonna lie, when I start when I started back cruising, you know, as a normal person, not all the time like banging gears, you know, cutting off people and stuff, it's I ain't gonna lie, it's basically you getting to know your car more. But um that ain't part of the story. But anyway, so we got on the interstate, we were coming back like, you know, from my job, uh uh passing my job or whatever on that interstate. And um yeah. Basically we got off the interstate coming to I'm can't I came through the back way for my uh to my house and as I was coming off the highway, it was like a light. As soon as you come off the highway, you know, by the uh, by the store, it's a low. It's on Range Line. If you in Mobile, you probably know Range Line. And I'm coming off the interstate, you know, and it's a light right as soon as you get off the interstate. So as I pull up, you know, I turn my music down. And I told they're like, oh, they go 370Z. You know, he's just sitting at the light. And so basically, uh. The light was red, and it was another car on the other side. And um, as we eased on up, you know, the guy started pulling off. I'm like, we me and you know, me and Derek looked at each other. We like, dang, the light must been up here. You know, he must be sitting at the light for a minute. You know, and when he eased off, he got down on it, like he matted it down. And I'm like, hmm, you know, maybe he was trying to you know duck away, you know, from a camera or anything, so he didn't want his license plate. So. Yeah, as he all like, as he gets to the next light, it's like a next light by I say quarter mile, and basically he got down there, you know, it was a car right there, and then he swerved on over to the next line, you know, passing other cars and whatnot. And um, you know, next thing you know, we still at the light. I'm like, oh, so maybe that's why he did leave. And then I looked at the other light, the other lights were still green, which it wasn't any cars coming that way, like it was just another car, you know, in the turning lane. You know, basically to turn to the uh, to the other the other street or whatever he was finna get on, and um, yeah, and so I you know I was quick shifting and whatnot, you know, banging through the gears, not like fast, fast, but like you know just quick shifting, like you know cruising wise, and um, as I uh, get you know back on his back, just like long stretch on my. Uh, on my uh, side of the town, basically by my house. This is long highway, go all the way down to, it ends up going to uh, Jimmy shop, basically. And it's a, they made a um, street to where you can cut, you know, cut through all that, you know, that way you gotta go all the way, you know, at the end of that, at the end of that highway, just to get back down here. So, basically, you know, I did, I looked to my left, you know, look to my right, make sure there's no car coming, it was pitch black dark. And I look to my right, you know, coming down this road, coming to my house. Like, I'm literally, like, right down the street from my house. 
And as I'm coming, I'm look, I look, I'm saying, hmm, just that one car, you know, in my head, you know, we just cruising, you know, everything was cool. Now look, and there was a car, you know, as the hill, we were going up over a hill, and it's another hill, basically, you can't really see. As a car, you know, a car goes up over a hill. So, he goes up over a hill, uh, the car goes over a hill, and I look, and I'm like, oh, he disappeared, maybe he's going to that neighborhood. So, uh, basically, we get, basically, by the gas station, like, literally, like, not too far from my house. And passing through there, and I look, you know, look at the gas station then I'm looking back you know in front of me you know just seeing you know just cruising looking around and uh me and Derek you know we're just cruising you know and I look to my left I said I know ain't no car on the opposite side of the road you know because like it's two you know it's two opposite ways basically the way I was headed I was going the right you know the right way where cars coming this way and it was you know the opposite way it's a center lane then the opposite way the cars go like going back down to the uh to that shortcut basically or to the you know the other way and um i'm sitting up there you know i'm like oh man i said they you know must be playing or something and so next thing you know i said you know i'm gonna mat it down in my head so i mat it down i was already in third guy just mat it down you know and it's easing on up you know and um i got closer and closer and as i got by my street like to where i can turn to my house I seen what car it was, and it was a 370Z. And me and Derek look, I'm like, what, you know, what the hell going on? You know, and we, as we looked at the 370Z, it was a car coming towards him. And luckily he swerved on over, basically like close to, you know, the second lane before the center lane, you know, on the opposite way. And the car was still in that, you know, that far, the far, uh, lane, going the opposite way. And, uh, you know, I'm like, oh man. So me and Daryl, like, he got to be, you know, drunk or something. And next thing you know, as he passed that car, he mats it all the way down to the ground. And the car is, like, swerving left and right, like, going from the curb to the street. From the curb to the street. Basically, it ain't hitting the curb, but it's, like, getting close to the curb. And I'm like, oh man. So I matted it down, you know. I passed my house. I was like, forget that. Passed my house. Do it in fourth. You know, make sure no cops was around, cause you know I still don't have a tag, and I get in trouble for that. And um, as I was, you know, matting it down, it was like, you know, he was he had it completely on the floor, but I finally caught up to him, you know. And uh, after that, but basically, it's like another light to down there, like down um, what is this? On oh, Hillcrest, basically Hillcrest Road, Hillcrest Road. This is what this is. And he was on the opposite side of Hillcrest Road, like, you know, where cars are going towards, you know, my house. And I was going past my house, you know, and then it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at explaining stuff, so bear with me, guys. But, um, long story short, uh, as I eased on up, like, I was, like, I was catching him, like, really quick. And I looked, you know, and he was still matting it down fast, and then he eased off a little bit as I came closer. And, you know, I just beeped the horn at him. Like, I was beeping the horn at him. And I looked. You know, I said, I mean, let me make, you know, let me get back on the other. Like, I'm close by the center lane. But I decided, you know, let me get on the far, you know, far right lane, you know. So he won't end up swerving to my car. You know, then that'll be me. So, I look, you know, my rearview mirror. And we come to a light, you know. And cars are on the opposite lane, you know, just sitting at the light. And... Basically, I got back in the you know the left lane of the op of the lane I was going to. I didn't get I didn't go to the right you know. I just got back to where you know I was at first, and you know I beat the horn you know down shift the third and then like you know eased up with him and then beat the horn at him. Then he finally eased on over into the uh, turning lane, and we ended up next to Asian Garden. And, those of you, you know, that stays in Mobile and know where Hillcrest is, you know, and knows where, you know, this road is, basically, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, we end up by Asian Garden, and it's a turn lane, you know, right here, and then it's the opposite lane, basically going back towards my way, you know, like I said. And the light was green for him, like, to turn on the turn lane, but he wasn't going that way. So, as we eased up together, and we stopped at the light, me and Derek looked over at him. The guy was like slumped at the steering wheel like this, like literally slumped and had his arm out the window, 
like he was asleep. And you know, me and Derek were like, hey, you know, to try to get him up. And he finally woke up. He was like, oh man, you know, he was like, man, I didn't work, I worked like, you know, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, you know, how many hours he didn't work this week, you know, nonstop. I'm like, you know, I, don't, I ain't really pay that no attention. I'm like, you know, I don't want to Z. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm, you know, a caring person, but like at the same time, I'm like, you know, I don't want him to mess up that car he probably worked for or you know his parents work for you know he probably like that car you know i'm like i don't want you to mess that car because plus i'm a z you know a z guy so you know i'm gonna make sure he's all right and Derek was like you know well you you know you, you all right you know and i was like he was like man i hadn't you know having to sleep yet i hadn't had any sleep at all because he was coming from dolphin island and that's like across you know across the bay over here in mobile for people that knows and he was like, I was like, hey, you want one of us to drive your car? And, you know, you get in there and, uh, you know, you stay on the side, you sit on the side of the passenger side. And I was like, you know, where you stay at? You like South Alabama? And I'm like, oh, all right. You know, you want us want to do that? I'm like, you want one of us to do that? He like, nah, he said, you can just follow me though. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I said, you know, the green, I mean, the light turned green for us. And I told him to get on in front of me. So he eased on in front of me. And every time, like, he would swerve, like, to the center lane, I would beep the horn and he'll straight up. He'll straighten up. And, you know, after that, it seemed like he was doing pretty fine then. And so we ends up, like, we were getting closer to South Alabama and we made it there, you know, safely. And we went to the parking lot and he parked right there. And he was, uh, he parked the car, you know, left the car running, came to, the, you know, me and Derek. He was like, man, man, I really, you know, I really bang with y'all, you know, for doing that, you know, because. I haven't had any sleep at all, you know. You know, I haven't had any liquor or anything. I'm like, I don't know, you know, whether to believe he was drunk or either, you know, he just sleeping. Because really, I couldn't tell if he was drunk or not because I couldn't smell any alcohol on him. So, you know, he was telling me, you know, how many hours he working. You know, he drive back and forth, you know, basically every day, you know, to Dolphin Island because that's where he work at. And he goes to South Alabama, like, that's a college down here for the people that doesn't know. And um, he was telling me, you know, he kept, you know, you know, shaking my hand and stuff. Like, he said, I ain't gonna lie. Every time he was like, I bang, you know, every time I was say after I get. To All right, I'm back, you guys. <laughs> but basically, yeah, it was 240 something when we got home. And he had called me then. And so, there, you know, drove off or whatnot. And so, me and my dad was fussed, you know, each other. I'm like, you know, really, I'm saying, I'm. I told him, I told him off, and he just shut his mouth completely after that, because I told him off, like, basically, he was like, you know, you ain't, you ain't doing nothing, you just making up excuses, I'm like, how am I making up excuses, you know, I said, I got good sense to come home earlier than that, plus, I do come home early before one, usually, on the weekends, because there's nothing, you know, there's no car meets or nothing, really, it is a car meet, but nothing, like, popping, like, 1320-wise, it's like that. Unless you go to the track, which I don't, I'm not interested in track anymore because it got boring to me. I got out of drag racing and all that. I'm just like street racing. And, um, I'm like, all right, I'm like, okay. I said, yeah, I did follow the guy, you know, because, you know, I said, the guy, I said, well, now what if, basically, this is what I told him. I said, now, what if that guy, since I told y'all he was next to my house and he had his, he could, what he could have done. And at 370, he could have swerved on off the road onto the curve and into somebody's backyard. And I told him, I said, now what if he had to did that and hit one of your cars, what hit one of your trucks, what you would have done? And my dad, you know, gets snappy. Well, I can't do nothing because I'm at work. I said, all right then. Then who gonna be in charge? Who who's fault? Who who you gonna come yelling at? You know, basically, you know, I told him like that. And then after that, he just you know got quiet. He told him, well. People gonna set you up like that. I said, how he gonna, you know, I'm like, how he gonna set me up? How this gonna be a setup if the guy was really, you know, drunk? I told him, like, I just told him he was drunk. I ain't say he's sleepy because really, he, so I ain't gonna lie, he might have been drunk, really. I just couldn't smell the alcohol because my car, you know, my car has the mufflers off, so it'll kind of smell like fumes. And it smelled like, you know, the 90s model car. And, yeah. And so, I'm like, the guy said, how he, how that's going to be the setup when basically, you know, when he was talking to me, he was, I could smell alcohol. 
Then after that, he just shut his mouth completely. You know. And then he was like, well, you need to carry your ass to church in the morning then, since you're staying out that late. And I started to tell him, I'm like, I started to tell him back. You know, why are you telling me to do that? I said, you need to carry, you know, I wanted to tell him, you need to carry your ass back to church. <laughs> Excuse my language, you guys. But you need to carry, you know, your ass back to church because my grandma usually get on to him about that because ever since he got older, he got out of, you know, the older you get, the more you get out of church. You don't want to go no more. Like, I mean, it's not a thing with me, but it's not, it's not up to you to tell somebody else to do that. Basically, that does go to church. Like, I do go to church. Like, I haven't been going to three past Sundays because my schedule's messed up. You know, his schedule ain't messed up. He have, like, basically three days off. He has swing shift. I only got one shift, basically, like, day shift. He does night shift and day shift, like, swing shift. And, you know, I never have time to have fun, you know, by myself or with my friends because I'm always working. And then I never, you know, do nothing in the uh, end of the day because the next day I got to get ready for, you know, work. And I get tired of that, really. And, um, yeah, and I'm like, you can't tell me to do, you know, do that because you you really should be telling yourself to do that. You know, everybody get on to him about that. I go to church, you know. My mom, you know, even if she, my mom's understand why I don't really go to church because I never have time, you know, to have fun or whatever. Like, I would go to church every now and then, but if I do, I won't be able to do nothing the rest of the day. Just prepare myself, sit at home, you know, thinking about work. Because I ain't going to lie you guys, that sucks, thinking about work the next day. You know, thinking about you got to go to work the next day. So, that's why I'm like, I don't really, you know, go anymore. Because my off days are now the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, ever since they changed me to a different aircraft. And, uh, yeah. But cut all that you know but basically that's why the title that's why i named this video you know i saved somebody's life well i scratched that scratch that i'm gonna change it to basically the reason why the reason why i always tell the reason why i always tell people to be a dream chaser you know because basically why i say that because you know what, what i really said that because that guy is working 24-7, basically. Working his butt off. And he's tired, you know, trying to go out and hang out with friends. You know how college people are. Go hang out with friends, you know, have a beer here and there. And, you know, basically making your life miserable. And, you know, it's certain things you can't do in life because, like him, he could have killed himself just by, you know, working for somebody else, coming home way you know way from somewhere else and then you know trying to hang out with friends because he don't have time to hang out you know what would he want to do on the weekend and basically what i'm trying to say is that's why i say be a dream chase because things like that can happen you always gotta get up early in the morning you don't want to do that because i understand i know the i know y'all know the struggle too some of y'all that gets up in the morning like that like i have to get up like four something in the morning and i ain't gonna lie I get tired of it. I really do get tired of it because you don't have you don't really have no time to sleep. And then when you get there, it's like you don't want to be bothered with nobody at that time of morning. You got to wait, you know, for such and such hours. And then they pay you so much that they don't want to, you know, basically be fair with you the way you work. Because, you know, people be working their butt off and people don't appreciate that. So that's why I'm like, be a dream chaser in every one of my videos because you don't need to be working yourself to death. Do something that you like to do in life. Like, really. That's why I want to do YouTube so much. I want to inspire other people. Like, really, I ain't gonna lie. I, want, I can care less for money because really, right now, I'm just saving up my money to finish the bill for you guys, you know. And see, you know, see about, you know, what I want to do after that, after I'm through with that bill because... Really, I'm thinking, you know, I might talk to y'all about it in the next in another video, but yeah. But basically, yeah, you don't need to work for everybody. You don't need to work for anybody, you know, your whole life like that because you make yourself miserable every day and you killing yourself inside. That's not worth it because they don't appreciate your work. Ten times out of ten, they care about they self. So, really, like. You guys just be a dream chaser, like really, I tell y'all that, but 
just you know stick with your plan for now you know if everything goes as planned then hey it's cool but if everything not going as planned and you don't like what you're doing leave that whatever you're doing just try it don't matter i mean if you don't have like you know ups and downs whenever you try you know whatever you want to do then something's not right you know obviously if you do then something's right because in the end it's gonna come back up really you're gonna go it's gonna come back up and you're gonna make yourself even better than what you did before so yeah but i mean right there you guys hopefully uh this video basically can inspire you guys and you know make y'all think twice before y'all do anything you know crazy especially in college people and um just people in general i take that back people in general not just college people and uh yeah y'all be safe out there you know especially in these cars like he could have really messed himself up that's a 370z it's, it's, it's it takes nothing to tear that car up and it could take nothing to tear my car up either uh but yeah thanks you thanks you guys for watching <laughs> i don't know i'm tired myself <laughs> thank you guys for watching and uh like i said be a dream chaser you guys chase that dream down you don't need to be working for it Whoever it is you're working for now, go do your dream and make that dream appear and show it off to the world, basically. You know, show it off to the world and enjoy it. Enjoy it with your family, enjoy it with your friends, you know, enjoy it. And like this video, you guys, and subscribe, and your boy is out.